Hi, this tutorial is about GNOME Terminal and its transparency or not. In some of our tutorials before, I have made this shortcut Ctrl on T and then you get fail to execute child process GNOME Terminal and so on. So how this, why, why is this happening? Let's take a look at Ctrl Alt K, which is our OB key program. So OB key is where our keyboard shortcuts are, which is this one. And we should look for GNOME Terminal, or in my case, Control alt and then T from Terminal. Control alt t is the most common keyboard shortcut there is in the distros to start your terminal, and it's here. So what it says is start GNOME Terminal, but GNOME Terminal does not exist and then you get this pop-up. Let's take another terminal which is termite and let's find it out if it's installed. No, nothing happens. I press tab and nothing is there. So it's not installed. The normal thing you should do is sudo pacman minus s gnome t and wait and press it a few times tab and there you have the terminal and install it. But installing it won't give you this nice transparent look that you have. And I want my terminals to be all transparent. Okay, so no, not done, Control C, not done. Then on Arch Labs we have now three possibilities. You have Yaourt, which is an AUR helper, and say install me GNOME terminal, but I really don't know the name anymore, and you type it. And then you have to choose. So there's a lot of choices. And the one we're looking for is this one, number eight. So I can say here, enter number of packages, number eight, or for one to three, or eight and nine and 10. But it's the number eight I want. That's one possibility. That's yaourt. That's how that looks. Then you have Pakaur installed, which is also AUR helper. I do believe I have to say minus s to say install me something. Gnome terminal. But in this case, in Pakaur, we'll have to, to help him. What, what, is, what he wants to do now is completely install my Gnome group. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to figure out um, which program is, is well, which Gnome terminal is transparent. So that's not done at all. Control C. So that's not what I want. In Pakaur, you'll probably have to look first and then install. You have to know the name, GNOME Terminal. And I guess it's transparency as well here. Transparency. And it's not found. Or it is. Resolving dependencies. It's installing. It's correctly written, it's installing all that. No. I want to do this the same with Packer, and Packer is then an extension more or less of Yaourt, because if you don't know the name, and mostly most of the time we don't know the name, and we want our GNOME terminal to be transparent, the T would be wrong, because it's transparency. <laughs> so you should know a bit about the programs. So if there is no teams in it, the text or this, then it won't come out. So we do need this one. So Packer GNOME Terminal Transparency, it's enough to press zero and it's installed. Or, and of course, in my case, it's an or. I have my installation file, which is called installations install gnu, 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 gnu. GNOME Terminal Transparency was inside of it. The name, that's the only thing I need to know, the name, GNOME Terminal Transparency. And all the rest is copy-paste. This is just the same on everything else. What's it going to do? It's going to check, is it installed? Yes. Tell the user, hey, you have already installed it. And if it's not installed, then you install it with Packer. If you don't have Packer, install it with Packer. If you don't have Packer, install it with Yaourt. And then just checking if it is installed, so if everything is installed up here, then checking if it is installed will be positive message. And otherwise, if it's not successful, it'll tell you it's not installed yet. 
So that's all it does. Checking or using the term, using the term, it's gone the terminal. I closed it, no, this one. It's just using this terminal, so I did a copy paste. Right mouse click or control C. <coughs> copy paste it, put it in the file, rename it, that's it. From now on, I know the name, Conurm Terminal Transparency. Let's run it in here. Oops. So, open terminal, install, new. Ah, let's go. He's going to install it with the packer, as you can see. It needs a lot of stuff. Um, it's a choice, of course. Um, it's going to install quite a bit of software just to have a little terminal. So there is Alex terminal. Let's take a look while we wait. Super D. When I type term, I have Terminator here. I have Terminix. I have Termites. I have Alex terminal. I have Vuex term and X term. So all these things will save me. I'll have a terminal around somewhere. All these terminals have been fine-tuned settings. All these terminals, terminal, terminal file, du, 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 terminal, 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 terminal. Also, a bit terminal. The new fetch is starting in our terminal. Sakura is a terminal. Alex terminal. That's it. So, as you can see, all these preferences of all these terminals have been laid out, have been fine-tuned, the colors have been fine-tuned. Um, that's the fun, I think, to make a beautiful terminal. We are using it, after all, quite a lot. And in the meantime, our GNOME terminal is almost finished. A lot of languages, installing languages, languages, as you can see. Preferences. We're almost there. Let's get this out of the way. Thank you for a nice wallpaper. What I'm going to use, I'm going to save this wallpaper. I like it. So what I do, I'm pressing Alt F. Alt F, it's a favorite wallpaper. Where is it now? Uh, not here. It's now in our right mouse click let's go to tunar it's in our dropbox dropbox apps test upper and there it is so i have it saved for later day and i like it oops i believe i stopped something here or is it here no no okay Oof. so gnome terminal has been installed fine uh, yes, please stop the process that was hanging. So it's working just fine. Or Arch Labs, when something is hanging, it will tell us and we can kill it. Killing can be done as well here. This is open. I want to kill this. Windows, escape. We get this nice little icon here. It's X kill and we kill the thing that's hanging. Our GNOME terminal. Control Alt D. There is your GNOME terminal. As you can see, we still have to fine tune it a little bit, but it works. Preferences, no menu bar. Thank you very much. Preferences, profile preferences, custom font, make it bigger so you can see. And then, not done. When you make it bigger, you need a little bit more columns and rows and command colors and here we have now a slider that we did not have in the past we can have now this little slider here and scrolling we don't want to scroll and limit scroll back we don't want a scroll back limit and here we are having a new control alt this is the control alt and there is also the windows enter and those two will start our gnome terminal the only thing we might want to do as well is change a bit the colors so don't want these colors I do want more kind of this kind of color so that's up to you what you change from coloring 
and this is not me I assure you it's not me it's variety showing us the power of variety it's coming from desktop.co co just getting wallpaper sending it to me and I can choose to log in and to put a little I click on this this cloud here and it's already on my Dropbox then it's kept there and it's a quite interesting tip it's a golden tip to get wallpapers that are just beautiful and awesome okay that concludes our GNOME terminal we have it now installed it's transparent we can fine-tune it even further for coloring and all that have fun <laughs>